Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Barkis Ophthalmology Tutorials. So this is going to be a very short video about how to remember the layers of the retina, how many layers are there in the retina, which are those and how they are arranged. So in short, we will learn about the layers of retina today. So by the time you finish the retina chapter or the ophthalmology postings, you will be knowing the layers of the retina. But the only problem is you will not be knowing how they are arranged and which cells will constitute which layer. So if you go on telling the layers of uh, retina randomly, you know there is retinal pigment epithelium, there is retinal nerve fiber layer, there is inner and outer limiting membrane, inner and outer nuclear layer, inner and outer plexiform layer. So this everyone knows. The only thing is how they are arranged and which cells constitute which layer. That is the difficult problem. In this video I am not using any mnemonic. I will try to explain it in a simpler and easier way so that you can remember the layers of retina. Okay. As you all know, there are three coats of the eyeball. The outermost is the sclera, then the choroid, then the innermost is the retina. So, let's say this is the choroid, okay, which is there in the brown color. So, just adjacent to choroid, we have what is known as retinal pigment epithelium, right? So, there is retinal pigment epithelium adjacent to choroid. I represent the retinal pigment epithelium also in brown color, okay? So, this is the retinal pigment epithelial layer. So after this, forget everything, come to the innermost layer. So which is the innermost layer? That is the internal limiting membrane. What is known as internal limiting membrane. So after this, you know, there is retinal nerve fiber layer. So put that retinal nerve fiber layer here. So these are all the retinal nerve fibers which are coming from the ganglion cell layer and then they are forming the optic nerve. Okay, so the retinal nerve fiber layer. So from which cells these are arising? This retinal nerve fiber layers, as I told, they are coming from the ganglion cells. So I am just writing the diagram to represent those. So this is the ganglion cell layer. Okay, you remember till now first. So the first is the from outside to inside if you consider there is retinal pigment epithelium which is just adjacent to the choroid from the inside we have internal limiting membrane followed by the retinal nerve fiber layer and the ganglion cell layer so you know there are three major cell types in the retina so the three major cell types are the first thing is as you all know the rods and cones so this is one cell type then we have what is known as bipolar cells then we have what is known as ganglion cell layer okay so the ganglion cell layer we have already represented here so now come to the three major cell types the first is the rods and cones so adjacent to retinal pigment epithelium write the rods as well as the cone layer okay so this rods and cones also have the nuclei here right so the layer of rods and cones which their axons here are the synaptic end then we have what is known as the bipolar cells so as the name suggests it has two synaptic ends so this is the bipolar cell with the two synaptic ends which is connecting with the layer of rods and cones above or on the outer aspect and the layer of the ganglion cell layer on the inner aspect okay so now you can go on naming the layers of the retina so the first is the retinal pigment epithelium then till this part that is the part of the rods and cones this constitutes the layer of rods and cones then there is nuclei of this rods and cones that constitutes the outer nuclear layer okay so the axons of the rods and cones will synapse with the bipolar cells which will constitute outer plexiform layer. Then there is nuclei of this bipolar cells as you can see. So that will constitute the inner nuclear layer and the synaptic ends of this bipolar cells will meet with the ganglion cell layer and that constitutes the outer plexiform layer. Okay. So here there is a mesh like thing which is keeping all these rods and cones in place. This is called as the outer limiting membrane so finally we got all the layers of the retina that is retinal pigment epithelium layers of rods and cones outer limiting membrane 
outer nuclear layer, outer plexiform layer, inner nuclear layer, inner nuclear layer, inner plexiform layer, ganglion cell layer, as well as retinal nerve fiber layer and the internal limiting membrane. Okay, so this is more than enough if you write in your exams for three mark question to name the layers of the retina. Okay, apart from all these cells, we have three more other types of cells called as Muller cells, horizontal cells and amacrine cells. So remember, this Muller cell is most gigantic cell. So it will almost cover all the layers of retina. So you can write it as, so you can represent it like So, this is the Muller cell which is almost occupying all the layers of retina. This is Muller cells. These two horizontal and the amacrine cells are present in the plexiform layer where the nerves, uh, where the synaptic ends of the cells meet. So, they are present in the plexiform layer. Which one? Horizontal and the amacrine. So, the horizontal cell for the sake of just remembering you have O ear. So, horizontal cell is present in the outer plexiform layer. So, just show the horizontal cells here which are synapting in the outer plexiform layer. Then the amacrine cells as I told these are also present in the plexiform layer. So, put this amacrine cell in the inner plexiform layer. So, these are the amacrine cells okay which are synapting in the inner plexiform layer. So, just to revise once again. How to remember the layers of retina? The first thing is, the outermost thing is the choroid. Adjacent to that, there is retinal pigment epithelium. Then come to the innermost layer, that is internal limiting membrane. So, we have retinal nerve fibers which are forming the optic nerve finally. So, retinal nerve fiber layer which are arising from the ganglion cell layer. So, leave it here. Then come to the three major cell types. We have rods and cones, bipolar cells and the ganglion cell layer. So, the major cell type is always rods and cones for the retina. So, put that below the retinal pigment epithelium. This is the layer of rods and cones. This is rod and this is cone with the nuclei and the synaptic terminal. Then comes the bipolar cells. As the name suggests, it has two synaptic ends. One is synapting with the layer of rods and cones and one is synapting with the ganglion cell layer. To go on naming the layers. Retinal pigment epithelium. This outer segment of rods and cones will constitute the layer of rods and cones. The nuclei of this will constitute the outer nuclear layer. The synaptic uh, layer of this will constitute outer plexiform layer. The nuclei of bipolar cells will constitute inner nuclear layer. And the synaptic terminal of this will constitute the inner plexiform layer. Then comes the ganglion cell layer, retinal nerve fiber layer and the internal limiting membrane. And the three other cell types that is Muller cells, horizontal and the amacrine cells. Muller cell is occupying most of the layers of retina. Just remember M for M occupying most of the layers of retina. So, this is very gigantic cell which is there here. So, this is represented like this. Then comes the horizontal and the amacrine cells which lie in the plexiform layers. So, the horizontal. So, O is there. So, outer plexiform layer. So, write this horizontal cell in the outer plexiform layer. And the amacrine cell comes to the inner plexiform layer. So, hope this video on. How to remember the layers of retina is useful to all of you. If you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon for further notifications and leave your comments about my videos. Okay, thank you so much.